Abby, Jess, the court wouldn't allow cameras in or outside of the room, but like you said, I was there as Alicia Adams faced a judge for the first time. Now, in these court documents released today, we learned that Ivan and Alicia Adams, the caregivers of Athena and her five-year-old sister, were had the girls in their care for one and a half to two years. It says that their biological mom gave the, her daughters to this couple. Now, Alicia, one of the girls' caregivers, is now facing two felony counts of child neglect, one for leaving Athena's five-year-old sister unsupervised, the second for leaving Athena without protection from her husband, Ivan Adams, who allegedly murdered the four-year-old little girl. Half a million dollars. That's the bond amount that was set today at the Caddo County Courthouse as Alicia Adams faced her fate. If posted, a judge ruled Adams will have to stay in Oklahoma, wear a GPS tracking device, and can't have any contact with witnesses, some of those who may be her own children. The public defender in the case put in an application for a gag order, saying it's impossible to have a fair trial with affidavits floating around social media. OSBI warned the public yesterday that social media rumors could hinder progress. This affidavit released today details what may have happened to Athena Brownfield. It says the caregivers never enrolled Athena's five-year-old sister in school or took the girls to the doctor. Athena's sister told police when they found her all alone that she was, quote, tired of being alone. It's unclear how long that little girl was left without care. Documents say Alicia confessed to investigators last week that her husband, Ivan Adams, beat and killed Athena on Christmas Day. We're going to keep pushing for answers for a clear timeline of what has happened in this investigation. I reached out to OSBI multiple times today with questions, including how the girls were in the care of the Adams family. We have yet to hear back on those questions.